Hello there how are you i hope all is well and everything is absolutely amazing on your end welcome back this is your light and darkness and i am back again with new insights new updates and new messages for all of you as you might observe that i sound differently it's because i'm not quite well and i have a sore throat and cold as well so bear with me today as i might not sound as clear as usual okay so today's reading is for those individuals who know very well that they have another person or situation blocking their divine connection which means it's a third party situation for a lot of you out there right now so there are a few insights and messages for all of you here it doesn't really matter who is that another person whether it's a work situation family friends another person in the picture or just anything else anyone else who is the real uh, blockage here or you think is a hindrance to your connection the thing is that it's nothing but people's immaturity that is blocking your connection right now or your union in general you basically need to know something here and that is about knowing what's right and what's wrong if you can clearly see which i feel like you know that it is the truth but because of your emotions because of your um, attachment with your counterpart you find it difficult to make a conclusive decision about this connection right now and that's not something which is your fault it's fine you need to realize and understand that your counterpart needs to grow up okay without either of you reaching that higher level of consciousness there is no union happening okay there is no union without growth without self realization without the acceptance of this connection for what it is and without the inner balance both of you need okay i am seeing that maybe at present you are really heartbroken sad or quite lost about everything that is going on here or your counterparts immature attitude their uh, decision of choosing another person over you or um, the decision of just you know being back and forth being ignorant immature and flirtatious with other people they might even be acting little frivolous here which is something that really disturbs you which is something that really hurts you deep down from within this is something you need to get over with right now okay your counterpart actually needs a big shake up which is what i see is coming sooner than later their immaturity is what is causing all of this their immature attitude their uh, delusional way of living and being and thinking is what is causing this upheaval and uh, disturbance within your connection they think that by acting this way they'll be able to get some comfort or uh, they are living in this illusion that the cup the other people are offering them is what is real and your connection is something that isn't going to go anywhere so why they cannot have their cake and eat it too I am seeing here that some of your counterparts who are acting this way think that they shouldn't let either you go or the other person or other situation even if they are toxic they are mean they are ridiculous or they hold on to an intention of doing you wrong causing you harm and hurt or disrespecting you this is something i feel like your counterpart ignores overlooks or is just indifferent about okay if this is the case then uh, the guidance for you here which is coming direct and quite blunt is that you need to get over with this pain this hurt or this um, heartache that you're feeling because you really don't deserve to go through whatever you are forcing yourself to go through here right now your counterpart's immaturity is not something you should pay attention to or cry about because they're the ones who'll be crying 
after they get met with the consequences of their immature choices decisions and actions there is disruption and destruction coming in in their life or the way they are acting and behaving they cannot hold on to these situations or connections much longer but the thing is that if you are in this situation right now and you feel really hurt you just need to move forward and tell yourself that you do not need to suffer or cry or sob for this person even if this person is your counterpart even if you feel a lot for this person even if you see 10000 signs here and there that doesn't mean you are supposed to overlook how immature mean and toxic this person is at present okay it's not written anywhere that just because someone is your soul counterpart you are supposed to overlook their immaturity their toxicity their negativity or their wrong doings no not at all you've got to do the right thing here even if it seems or feels difficult this is the guidance which is coming up straight for all of you no matter how much you feel for this person try to avoid looking into this person's life stalking this person on social media or collecting facts about this person as to who this person hangs out with and how many connections this person is entertaining right now let this person go and move forward i'm not saying that by letting go you'll be able to get rid of this connection or uh, this connection is going to fade away that's not going to happen if it's a real connection the thing is that you need to get over this heartache this pain and this suffering you are taking on yourself and onto your heart don't trouble yourself unnecessarily because the troubles that are coming into this person's life are what this person needs to grow from within you are already learning your lessons here it's just that if you're focusing on this person you're feeling hurt you don't have to do that all you have to do here is to find that loving space you carry within your own heart you hold the cup of love in your own hands that which you seek from this person or that which you expect this person to give to you you already have that love within your own heart and in your hands okay kindly bear with me today i'm not able to speak properly okay all you need to do here is to just regain the inner balance back and find yourself from within that's it you'll still see signs you'll still feel the pull towards this person but you have to overcome this emotional attachment you feel with this person or the hurt you're feeling because of this person's immature actions decisions and choices this person is showing right now okay i am feeling and seeing that something that this person fears or this person's worst nightmare may come true in this person's life i mean in your counterpart's life in the very near future because of how this person is hurting you disrespecting you listening to other people or just acting or just acting in a really frivolous imbecile and stupid of manner definitely there are other people here who are either influencing this to happen or are just you know causing upheaval because of their gossip or habit of interfering into people's business or just because they want to hurt you or just because they want to have fun anything could be the case doesn't really matter what the issue is what the real reason is there is shake up coming in there is disruption coming in and there is destruction coming in into these people's lives okay your connection is there was there is going to remain like this but there's some work which needs to be done and after a certain point of time after this destruction this disruption or this divine intervention hits your counterpart they may make a decision of you know getting hold over their own illusions negative thoughts belief systems or they may just take charge of their own life like you are being guided to do right now don't remain in this state anymore you don't have to suffer you don't have to cry you don't have to feel hurt even though 
the outside circumstances may still look like they're not going anywhere you can make a choice to be the way you want to and feel the way you want to it's still in your control i'm saying that because things might not change as soon as you want them to i mean to say that as soon as you shift your focus you might not see the same change getting reflected in your counterparts choices or their way of living and being that doesn't mean you're supposed to go back and resort back to this sad sorrowful disturbed upset state of yours you don't have to do that really because they are the one who will be crying for you and for your connection in remorse in regret in guilt in deep hurt and pain because sooner or later this person is going to realize that the only real cup anyone could ever offer them was held by you it was always in your hands no one could ever give that cup of love to them that only you hold in your hands you getting my point sooner or later this person is going to realize that and then this person is going to cry for those of you who have already done that i mean those of you who are already over it those of you who are already detached and are living in this balanced state maintaining this balanced state you have found that cup of love that you so wanted from this person within your within your own self and in your own hands i see your person regretting everything they did to you because things are falling apart in their life they are stalking you for sure and if you do and if you had a habit of stalking them i'd suggest stop it just right now those of you who did that already congratulations because now this person is crying over you and over the loss this person is feeling after losing you or letting you go or rejecting you for something or someone else either this person got cheated recently or something just ended in this person's life whatever happened as i said something really disturbing something really destructive is going to happen here that actually happened in some of your counterparts life already because they were being indifferent towards you your emotions and your connection because they were disrespecting you by associating themselves with third class people because they were being flirtatious with other people because they were hanging out with toxic individuals or they were just being extremely immature in their ways of living and being they've hurt you with their actions with their words with their decisions and choices they'll be paying the price for that and they will be paying a very big price for that some of them are and some of them i see are paying the price right now as we speak this divine intervention is coming full force and destroying everything that they built created or wanted to have in their life it is destroying everything in their life these toxic connections they had these negative associations they were holding on to is getting down in the dumps and they'll be crying after what they did to you in pain if this is your situation where you feel deeply hurt by your counterpart make a difficult decision of moving forward and not looking back i'm not saying that you cannot have your union you can but there's growth that needs to happen before that there's destruction that's going to come in in your counterpart's life so that one fine day they look at themselves in the mirror and realize what kind of jerk they've been in your life and into others lives as well before that there's ending that needs to take place and complete disruption happen in all of these people's lives who destroyed your connection or caused you this much hurt so please pay attention to all of these things things may not change overnight but at a certain point of time it will all you need to do here is just collect yourself back again connect with your inner real self regain that inner balance maintain it all throughout your journey okay and move forward move forward despite the fact that it might feel painful and difficult especially if your counterpart is acting really really deceptive if they are in another relationship married 
or are just choosing something or someone else over you thinking that he or she is the one or that thing that person that place or that situation is going to give them the love they are seeking wanting or yearning or comfort or pleasure or anything that they desperately want let them explore their options because divine is in charge of destroying that they cannot get anywhere by hurting you that's it this is what you need to know here okay so this was your reading i hope you enjoyed listening to me and this brought you the clarity you were seeking and were hoping to get if so do let me know how you felt in the comment section below feel free to hit the like button and do subscribe to our channel for more such content to be readily available for all of you on a regular basis with that being said do not hesitate to follow through with the link given in the description box below if your heart says so also if you are interested in taking a personal reading to contact me or consult with me through way of my given email address provided in the description box below that's all i'll be back sooner than later till then take care of yourself and your loved ones bye bye